Hi guys, here's some things what are happening. First of all, I went out today and I went to Tabletop Tyrant, my local friendly non-games workshop game store. I pre-ordered six edition starter sets today. Um, they've got an online store which is giftsforgeeks.org.uk I think. Pretty good. They've got the uh, special edition of the Dark Vengeance box set for about £52 on pre-order. Um, so, you know, if you fancy getting it for a bit less than Games Workshop, then that's a good place to get it from. Also, I have purchased today some Malifaux goodies. Obviously, you saw my previous unboxing of The Weaving Widow. I had a rule book turn up in the post on Friday, I think. And here are some bits I picked up today. A Fade deck and my first starter set. So, we'll start off. Let's have a quick look at the rule book. I haven't read this yet, so I don't know what I'm doing entirely. All I know is that you use cards. A deck of cards, which is essentially a themed regular deck of cards with four kind of houses, um, a couple of jokers and all that in there. You use those instead of dice rolls. So it's a nice full colour manual. Uh, you've got the breakdown of a card, a character, various bits and bobs. So let's have a look. We'll put my glasses on. The first section is the basics. Then you've got the fate deck, game turns. So it's the game. Combat. Big section on combat. <laughs> Magic, a section about magic, a small section about morale. Then you've got terrain and traits, traits, which is cool, that's fairly small. Then you've got encounters, this is quite a large section. You've got uh, different deployments and the kind of places that you would be having battles. So you've got locations, outdoor locations, you've got indoor locations, slums, theatres, caves, ruins, uh, events that happen, escaping, surviving, planting evidence, all interesting sort of scenario stuff there. The index, that's like a just special rules index and stuff there. Uh, that's there, and then there's the quick reference bit at the back, which is pretty handy. The turn order. Uh, turn sequence there, which is pretty cool. So look forward to kind of reading that. Now my first starter set, I have purchased the Lilith one from the Neverborn. I think the uh, the Neverborn ones are the more interesting ones for me. Um, my roommate will be getting the Lady Justice set, which I think is from the Guild. Um, and yeah, this is my first one. It got a little bit wet on the way home. We got stuck in a pretty big thunderstorm. It's quite nice out now. Um, but yeah, hopefully this looks like it's come out intact. So let's have a look at what's in the books. Pardon my French. I don't even know if French for box is box. I don't know. That's that was just me being silly. How does this open from the top? Aha. So we've got a little pack of all the cards. So we can see who we get in here. Let's have a look at these. We've got Lilith, Mother of Monsters. So she's got those stats. There's her all painted up nicely on a 30mm base. And her rules. So that's cool. You've got Terratot Nephilim. Oh, oh, look at that. Little willies. Gross. I hope I don't get invested for showing that. Uh, there's three of those. They're all slightly different models. I don't know if the stats are any different on those. Probably not, I wouldn't have thought. Let's just compare a couple of those, see if they look yeah, they look about the same, it's just that they, there's one for each model. And there we've got the mature Nephilim, this nice kind of evil looking winged beast. There's that, he's on a 50mm base. 
and there's his rules. Armour plus one and some stuff, which is pretty cool. I'm sure that'll all make sense once I've had a little look through that rule book. Let's see if I can get those back into there without sticking them to the tape. And I can. Oh, hey, I'm a genius. I'm proud of myself. So who have we got here? There's the Teratops, I think. One, two... That's just two of them. <laughs> Aha. So there's three bases there. And, oh, no, wait. Three Teratops. They're pretty tiny. I should mention this set here was £22.70 at Gifts for Geeks. And the fade deck was four pound fifty. So there's one of the terror tops. Creepy looking thing. That's that little chap. There's this one. Interesting. And this one he's got two arms separately. So there is some assembly of small parts there, as you might expect. Uh, looking at from the uh, last Weaving Widow boxing I did, the Malifaux ones do seem to have multiple parts on their metal kits. So, you know, I, again, I don't know how easy these are to actually assemble. That's a bridge I'll cross when I come to it. But obviously Weird Miniatures, it's a smaller company, they're not going to have the easy assembling of someone like Games Workshop or the middle kind of difficulty of Privateer Press. And in here, aha, this is just the mature Nephilim in this one. It's a nice big base and some pretty big chunks of metal. Let's have a look at this. You probably want to pin this. So there we got his main body. Lots of detail, quite a big piece of metal flash in there. Room for the tail, so the tail was there. So you'd put that in something like that. You've got these two big wings. Presumably that go into there like that. And that one goes in like something like that probably not quite like that but yeah like that then there's an arm there's one arm's already on him that arm's there like that probably reaching out to grab someone and lastly we've got his head with this gorgeous beautiful face I will eat your soul. And yeah, that's that guy. Probably one of the biggest metal guys I've ever had as an individual. Uh, probably comparable with, I don't know, say the old Orion Wood Elf model. About that size. If you know that one. Probably not quite as big as the Slan Mage kit I unboxed a few days ago, weeks ago. And lastly, we've got Lilith herself here. So let's have a look at her as well. Ah, so just two pieces. Ooh. There she is. Quite a glamorous young lady. Although I doubt she's young. Quite cool boots, long hair, awesome kind of trench coat there, pretty badass, and then she's got this awesome sword, look at that, that's wicked that is, which presumably would slot in something like Something along those lines. I'll look at the card. 
and see how that's done later. And there we go, that's my first Malifaux set of dudes. I'll see how the rules go as for expanding this army or faction or whatever you'd call it. Uh, I wouldn't, I'm hoping the Weaving Widow will be able to join this, but we'll see how that works. So there you go. Have you got a Malifaux set? I'd like to know what you've got. While I'm here, let's have a quick look at this Malifaux Fate deck. I don't know if they're all the same. They all have different coloured uh, things behind the logo there, as if they were different. So maybe each faction has its own. But we'll have a look here. So we've got a Joker and another Joker. It's pretty creepy. Then you've got this, which I believe is like the Neverborn part of the deck. So you've got a nice kind of crow on a gravestone. Full moon appears. Then they got for the 11, 12, which is very cool, and 13. Basically, uh, it's like 1 or 2, 3 to 5, I think. Yeah, 2 to 5, we've got the kind of the weak version of the card. 6 through to 10 are moderate. And then 11 is a severe one, 12 is severe, and 13, pretty harsh there. This one will be the guild, I believe. So you've got a pair of scales, and you've got a fat man on a pair of scales, and a starving dead guy there. And you've got this guy, seems to be some kind of debt collector. This one is my favourite card. <laughs> and this guy. And then I believe these ones are the Arcanists, Arcanists. So you've got like a spell books and potions and stuff. And you've got some kind of weird creatures being summoned into life. You've got this guy who seems to have made some kind of robot ant chimera thing. Someone who's created a giant fire beast. And this guy who's, he seems to have created himself a steampunk robot dude. And he's thinking, what have I done? Hmm, intriguing. And that's that fade deck. Like I said, I don't know if they're all the same or not. I could imagine them being all the same, but who knows. We'll see. Ooh. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. Malifaux. That's all I've really got for this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.